Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody to the show. So today's topic is about asking for permission. Now, this is not about asking for permission necessarily, but it's about getting rid of that mindset of having to ask for permission. Now, growing up, there was always this sense that if you wanted something, you would have to ask, and you would have to ask nicely for it. Now, not to say that that's not a great social contract to have with, you know, other people, but in terms of the kind of art that you want to make or the things that you want to write, there is nothing that you have to check in with. There's nobody that you have to ask permission about what you want to write. It's just you and the computer screen or you and the pencil and the paper. It is completely open to anything you want to do. And there's nobody stopping you from writing what you want to write. And that's a very freeing uh, proposition to keep in your mind because so often uh, there's a sense that you can't write or that you have to ask permission to tell a certain story. I don't believe in that. I believe that if there's a story that you want to tell and if you do enough research into how to tell that story properly, that it doesn't matter what your background is, that you can tell a compelling story about any character uh, at any time. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And that's really what I'm trying to get to when I'm doing these podcasts, is that there's no reason to ask for permission to write what we want to write or to say what we want to say. I mean, right now we're living in a time where there's a lot of upheaval, where people are able to say what they want to say. But that's the great thing about freedom is that we're able to express those feelings. And hopefully we are talking to people that uh, have uh, a sense of reasoning that they can hear our arguments and say, I appreciate that that's your point of view. But this is how I see things, and that it actually promotes a conversation instead of having uh, one side just browbeat the other. That's not the case online, but that's a completely different world in which conversations are not really meant to happen because the platform is not meant for conversation. The platform is meant for being a, a loud megaphone of ideas and to shut down people. But in terms of like the things that we want to create, we can have those conversations. We can have stories in which both sides are represented and bring a narrative forward that actually promotes understanding and reasoning and conflict and the... Uh, types of stories that make us look at our own humanity and realize that there are two sides to uh, each one of us that, you know, that there's a side that's very dark and sinister and there's a side that's very good and saintly and that part of us is always in conflict and the way in which our society is, is built is, is always in conflict with, um, you know, the, the events going on around us and the, there are some very hopeful and dire things happening all the time. So don't ask for permission. If you have a story that you want to tell, I uh, urge you to just sit down and start writing it. And through the editing process, you will be able to refine it. You will be able to turn it into something that is more coherent and more uh, of uh, you know not you know not to say that everything that we do has to have a message, but it can be refined to uh, uh, a state that can be, um, I guess, consumed. I, I really hate 
that word, but um, that's digestible, I guess. I'm, you know, I, I, basically that it can be put out into the world as a point of view. And it doesn't have to be political. It doesn't have to really be anything except for this is how I see the world and or this is how I wish the world would be or if it's a world that's made up that it's like this is a world that I have had in my head and this is the systems that um, dictate what the characters can do and, and can't do you know like but if you let the voices in your head tell you that you can't do it or if you start um, comparing yourself to other people that are doing the thing that you want to do, you'll never write it. You'll never put it on paper. You'll never share that idea with the world. And that's not fair to the world. Because your idea may be a, something that nobody has thought of before. It's probably something, you know, it's, it's a rare thing to have an idea that nobody's thought of before uh, somewhere, but at least your perspective on that idea will be unique and have confidence in that and don't let somebody take per, uh, take the permission away from you to write it. So that that's pretty much all I have for this week. I just want to encourage people, uh, I want to encourage you guys to just go for it. The worst thing that can happen is that you have to delete something or that, you know, you write something that just doesn't work. And that's another part of the process to have uh, trusted, uh, you know, readers to give you notes who will, um, you, you know, challenge you but won't shame you, won't, you know, embarrass you uh, for just trying to do something that you know, you might think is the proper way to, um, tell whatever story you're trying to tell. So, all right, keep writing out there. Uh, continue to be safe. Uh, I know we're in a, a time of, uh, you know, there's just so much going on in the world and, uh, all I can really do on, in my little corner is just encourage everybody, um, to express those feelings inside, um, through your writing and to do what we can to put more positivity into the world uh, other than negativity. So until next time, um, I'll talk to you then. Bye.